Good morning. Birds are chirping, it's another lovely day. River's a lot more full than usual. Apparently some parts of Derby had flooding. i uh, seen it on my Facebook feed, I think there's something on the local news. Not you know, insane flooding, but a couple of side roads were underwater and uh, a few people had like lapping water against their front door. Nothing on like America's flooding level, but uh, still inconvenient. So yesterday, the internet went down for a bit, and it was weirdly really nice. When I've got the internet, I've got a million things to do on it, but as soon as it went down, I was forced to look around my room and see what I could do. I could go downstairs and make some dinner, which I did, come back upstairs, read a book, which I did, play some games on the PlayStation that I haven't played through, message some people by texting them instead of using Messenger, just exist in my own space for a bit without being drawn into the internet. It was very nice. It was a throwback to the late 90s, early 2000s, where you had to kind of create the entertainment that you had through the things that you had in your room, the things that you bought, the things that you owned. Every now and again, I like to think it would be nice to live without the internet. I know that's hypocritical to say, coming from an online vlog, but every now, every now and again, it is nice to just unplug and live without it for a bit. Just try it. Just try going one day without using the internet at all and see what you've actually got in life and what you actually spend your time doing. It's nice. I've got work today from nine o'clock until one. I've got this science of leaving my bed at exactly the last minute down to the second. Seriously. If I need to be in work at nine, I can leave my bed at 8.31. I've got it absolutely down. And then later on, probably stream for a while, do a long few hour stream to really get back into it. Uh, I'm picking up Neverwinter again, remembering what I used to do. And maybe get into Magic the Gathering online and stream some online magic. But for now, let's go and work as usual. It's getting warmer, it's getting so much warmer. I'm only having to wear one jacket instead of two. The uh, snow's melted, that's probably what caused the flooding. Snow's melting, it's getting warmer. So, I'll be off to work, and I'll film on the walk back. Have a good day, guys. Just finished work. Wasn't busy at all. I'm standing here admiring how, how much bigger the river is now all the snow's melted. You see some trees over in the distance that are partially underwater. They never normally are. It's normally nowhere near as much water as there is now. It's a really calm, peaceful day, actually. Uh, I'm going to head back, do some more Twitch streaming, get a cup of tea. I like the routine. I like the routine of getting back, getting a cup of tea, sitting down, maybe make a sandwich. Oh, I might get some croissants in town. You know what? Here's a plan. Ham and cheese croissants. Haven't had that in a while. Bit of ham and cheese croissants. That's what I'm going to have. That's my plan now. Popped a little Aldi. Get a ham and cheese croissant. Make it myself. Get back, sit down, play some Neverwinter. I might go and see Andy later. Uh, Andy's busy for a bit. And then I'll take some Magic the Gathering decks around and play, play Andy. Now Andy used to be, I think he was a level one judge, actually, for a while. So Andy was very, very uh, clued up on exactly how to play the game. He can probably teach me a thing or two. But I enjoy teaching people how to play Magic. I might even do a video series on how to do it, what good cards are, what bad cards are, that kind of thing. But for now, walk back, swing by Little Aldi, and uh, have and cheese croissants is the plan. So you guys have a good day, and I'll hopefully see you on Twitch. If you ever want to join me on Twitch Live, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Josh Hayes, come and join. Chat to me live instead. This is fascinating. This is some kind of dried up brush that's just next to the uh, to the river. But I'm going to very carefully try and creep through it because if you look over there, you'll see that the brush has grown in the exact shape of a desk. Nature is amazing. So I just finished playing on the winter on a lovely stream. I've stepped outside and ah, the sun. The sun has returned. If I turn the camera that way, look at that. The sun, it's actually out again. It's here. We can see things. It's warm-ish. Uh, the return to Neverwinter stream went exceptionally well. 
uh, we had between 20 and 40 people watching any one time. Now, for a smaller game like Neverwinter, for a smaller streamer like myself, 40 people is fantastic. So I'm going to go to Andy's house right now, play some Magic the Gathering with him. Just popped into Aldi on the way to Andy's house, all the magic cards in my bag, and uh, there was this couple of policemen just hanging around inside, who all went, went into the manager's office. So I was being served, I said to the guy, if you've managed to catch a shoplifter or something, seems interesting. He goes, oh no, one of the, uh, one of the staff was attacked by a girl with a wrench. I've worked in retail for a while, but uh, assault with a wrench is, uh, is a new one for me. So let's definitely hope they catch that person. Wow, assault with a wrench, that's some Gordon Freeman level attacking there. And that's a very specific video game reference that only a few very specific people will get. If you do, give yourself a pat on the back. But, you know, silently. This is my friend Andy, known on Twitch as Nerdy Wizard. Watch him stream sometime. Andy was a level 1 magic judge, so he really knows his stuff. However, even during this game, we had to phone Jason to get some clarification on what's going on. So, Jason, you the real MVP here. Thanks, man. Now, anyone who actually plays magic just needs to see this. They need to see a slippery boggle with a spirit mantle, a spider umbra, a daybreak coronet, an ethereal armor, an ethereal armor, and a rancor. Anyone who actually plays magic will know that is a win. How's it feel, Andy? Oh, uh. <laughs> Just finished playing Magic with Andy. I had a really good night, really good time. Uh, played some very powerful decks against each other. So that was nice, the, the proxy decks that I made. Ended up with a couple of situations, a couple of scenarios that were really complicated. Uh, so complicated, in fact, that Andy, who was a level one judge, kind of looked at me and I looked at him and we both went, I don't know, what, what happens now? We ended up having to phone Jason, who is uh, another streamer by the name of Baron 19 Jason, a really good mate of mine, who's very into his magic. And I said to Jason, are you free, mate? And he's like, I'm just cooking dinner at the minute. Are you... I said, well, Jason, random question, but uh, what happens if I turn my Celestial Colonnade into a blocker and declare it as a blocker? Can he fatal push it? Which is a very complex scenario. And Jason, while half cooking and half explaining to me, just rattled off the complete comprehensive rules of exactly what needed to happen. It was surreal. The fact that this guy could be cooking dinner at the same time as completely explaining exactly how these really complicated cards work just reminded me why Jason is my my Magic the Gathering God, my guru, my helper. He is exceptionally knowledgeable, so thank you very much to Jason for helping us work out some complex interactions. And thank you to Andy for playing. It has strengthened my resolve that one day I would absolutely love to be a level one magic judge. I would absolutely love that. Level 2, probably not. That's very, very difficult to get to. But level 1, absolutely. I might even look into it, see if I can if I can find a local way to start training. But for now, I'm going to go home and do some more streaming. I'm loving streaming. I've missed it so much. Neverwinter is going to drag, but I'm not going to let it. I'm going to either play a different class, or a different character, or a different way but I'm going to find a way to force Neverwinter to be interesting. So you guys have a good night, and I'll see you on Twitch sometime. Remember, come and visit me, twitch.tv forward slash Josh Strife Hayes. Come and say hi. In a few minutes time, I'm going to be streaming. Most people would use this time to gel their hair, put some makeup on, check the lighting. I've got some chips in the oven covered in cheese and bacon. I'm waiting for them to finish cooking. Then I'm going to shove them all in my face. Then I'm going to play video games. None of this getting ready lark. Just food, cheese, chips, bacon, and then gaming. Hardcore.